Hey, this is Randy from Pennywise. I'm at Soundwave Festival with the AU Review. Cool. Well, welcome back to Australia. Thank you, Larry. You played Soundwave a few years ago. I don't know if you've been back in the interim. Have um, yeah? How long has it been since you were last here? We actually came back last year and did uh, a few shows and uh, with. Yeah. No, it was awesome. <laughs> oh, we did. Yeah, actually, it was. Uh, who is it? Soundwave. No, no, no. We were just back here last year with Face to Face, and they are awesome. And it was an awesome tour. We love coming down here. Well, it's good to have you back. And, and indeed, you were here as well, Soundwave 2011. Yes. Getting to do it all over again. You know, how, how is it being back amongst, uh, amongst this big old rock show? Well, as far as uh, festivals go, and we've, we've played quite a few, this is a really, uh, on the production side, it's really well run. So that makes it easy and fun. And the, the, the amount of bands and the, the quality of music is I can't believe that they can you know put it all together <laughs> like that. Like uh, we just went and saw Stiff Little Fingers, Green Day's playing right now. Last time we were on the tour was Slayer and Iron Maiden and <laughs> you know a bunch of punk bands too. You know Terror, H2O on the last one and Terror's on this one. So it's it's really amazing. It's a lot of energy, a lot of fun. You're getting the opportunity to see some some pretty cool bands and and perform in front of some pretty cool crowds. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I mean the Aussie fans like we've always had a great time down here like it, throughout the whole world kind of down here it's like it's somehow it feels like they think we're a big deal and it's just you know and we, you know we feel the same way so it's just it's it's like a love affair <laughs> well it's awesome well we love having you here thank and, you and it's good that you do come down as often as you as you do and um you know this is the second visit then since you released your last record yeah so um looking forward i think the next one's number 11. Yeah, the next one we've been working on it. We're gonna. Uh, it's called Tomorrow's, and um, uh, it's kind of the core of the record is some songs that were written before the very first release, huh. and they were written when uh, Jason, the original bass player, was in the band, and mm -hmm. and uh, he was kind of like he's kind of like the heart and soul of the band, and he had a, a lot of creative input, and so it's interesting. You know, we. We were trying to put together a box set for, you know, just wanted to put together like a compilation of everything we've, we've done. Yeah. And we wanted to have something new for our 25 years being together. And uh, we started listening to these songs and, and it just seemed like there was something special about them and they just needed to be, have their own kind of format. And we always wanted to re-record re them. And I wasn't around when, when they were originally written mm. But they're just, they're really great and they're special. And I'm a fan of the band. That's how I just hunted these guys down and, you know, let them know that I, I was there, you know, available. So uh, uh, about, there's about five songs that were written by uh, Jason that, that we were listening to the demos. And uh, so uh, we tried to stay true to that. So there's like a real old feel. And it's kind of a good way to look back at what the band was doing mm -hmm. before that first album. Wow. And, uh, and then there's some other ones that were like outtakes that didn't make it to other albums that we felt like were, you know, why didn't those make it? So we're really, really stoked on this. And it's, you know, something that we feel really good about. And it takes a full circle in many ways. It is a full circle, not no pun intended, right? <laughs> that's, that's exactly right. <laughs> so, you know, what's the time frame on that in, in terms uh, of release? We're looking to release it in uh, either late spring or early summer. I mean, uh, early summer, late spring. Um, so hopefully it'll be out in a couple months. And then another excuse to come back to Australia. Uh, we'd love to. <laughs> Just, you know, as long as people want us to come here and someone, you know, there's going to be people at the show, we will be here for sure. By now, you must have your favorite things to do when you come to Australia and, and things like that. Yeah, well... You know, there's a kind of an adjustment period, you yeah. know, when you fly in. So, uh, really, I'm usually when I when we show up, I'm we're really focused on the shows and and when we have to be there. And then when things kind of chill out a little bit, it's well, there's we're always wanting to have a few beers, you know, and no one <laughs> ever complains. It's very important. And then uh, we've done uh, tours down uh, here that we've surfed every day and. We don't get a lot of chances to do that uh, recently, but uh, you know, it's just, it's, it really feels like home when we come down here because Southern California and the Australian kind of culture is 
so similar. So it's almost as, like, as is the weather. Uh, yeah, the weather's you know. I mean, except for Brisbane, which is <laughs> kind of humid for me. But Sydney, Bit hot. Sydney feels like LA. Yeah. You know, and uh, so um, you know, we just cruise and kind of go with the flow and whatever happens happens but usually it ends up in a, a, at some bar late at night and uh, the next day it's the uh, painful <laughs> especially with the 6 a.m. or even earlier lobby oh, calls yeah. well you got to keep that in mind yeah we're flying early so <laughs> but uh, it looks like you've got a couple of days in Sydney yeah we're gonna play tomorrow night at the uh, Manning bar and uh, that's gonna be that's our side wave show and mm-hmm. and uh, that's gonna be with uh, uh, Lesson Jake and uh, Bowling for Soup and uh, I think I'm missing someone but tell, they could just take it out on me later <laughs> but it's going to be awesome <laughs> it's, it, it's going to be great and um, the rest of the year is there more touring for you? Uh, yeah we're putting together a possible can, uh, Canadian tour maybe <laughs> in April um, looking at going to Europe in June hopefully and then maybe a special uh, American tour with some uh, yet-to-be-announced bands that should be uh, pretty awesome in uh, nice. August. Yeah.